time was called. Oh, it's a pitch violation. And it's on Peterson, took too long. Now it's interesting when you look at the hitter that Soto is, he's seven for zero. Gives you a chance to be a race runner. That's why he's perfect. And, and a bunt on 3-0, that doesn't make much sense. Three and one. <laughs> Three and two. <laughs> Three, two. That'd be ball he four, didn't even though. know it was ball four. He doesn't want to walk, <laughs> but he so does. He's so confused for this he, he didn't know it was 3-0. I'm telling you, I'm confused. <laughs> that might have been it, David. Let's go to the keys to the game, brought to you by your local Kia dealers. We start the fifth inning. Juan Soto will lead off. And there's a strike from David Peterson. For those till mom and dad would open the door, then it was over. Wait, you, you used to shoot? I was a little guy. I had all the older brothers. The O'Neill boys, wow. That did... One, two, driven deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. A long home run for Soto. Yankees on the board at 6 1. Well, lefty righty, it really doesn't matter. And it wants Soto 423 feet, and this wasn't a fly ball, a line drive. Got the Yankees on the board. You're going to need a lot more than that to get back into this game. Probably the best contact he's made since he spent a little time, you know, uh, with the forearm issue and missed a couple of games. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, look at the swing. Perfect. And let's take a look at the bat flip. Just behind the baseball. Everything's perfect. I mean, he knows where it's going. But he, he does a bat flip starting with the barrel and then he gets a little spin on it. Just oh. tremendous hip rotation, yeah. right? With the barrel, your, your belt buff. One and that didn't have a big breaking ball to get on the left. Drill down the right field line. It is a foul ball. There's six or eight feet from having a game here. You know, all the games, the 2-1. Nice save by Alvarez. Now 3-2. The 3-2. Two. The two. They walked him. Juan Soto. 1-0. Reno. And a strike. Better than they could have planned. And there's ball four. Soto reaches first. All right, Paul, your mic is working, so let's give everybody the keys to the game. <laughs> Penn could hold on. And a strike to Soto. Soto has walked and struck out. He checks the swing and Lance Barksdale agrees. Three and one on Soto. And he controls it into a walk. Lead off walk here in the sixth. Which is always noteworthy because he almost always looks comfortable. You know, off. catching, catching. Yes, Willie Mays decided to catch. And Soto works the walk. Here's Juan Soto, who takes strike one. That's with Toronto. Two ninety nine. 
Yankees looking for their first base runner. And they have it as Soto works the walk. Here. In the dirt, Soto says, hang on there at second Jumai, and he does. 1 0. The 2 0. This is 3 0 on Juan Soto with Aaron Judge on deck. The 3 0. Soto swinging, Soto launching. Goodbye. A three run shot off the bat of Juan Soto. His 20th of the season. And just like that, the Yankees lead it 4 3. What a huge swing of the bat, not only for Soto, but this y entire Yankee team. Boy, they needed that. When you have Aaron Judge waiting on deck and you get a 3 0 count. A pretty good feeling you're going to get a fastball down the middle, and Soto hammered it. And the last pitch Kikuchi will throw tonight. 4-3 Yanks, thanks to Soto. Ball one to Soto. One and one. Check it second. And Jones is back easily. The 1-1 is down. 2-1 and one on Soto. A sixth in bullpen ERA. Soto fights it off, flicks it into shallow center. That will get down for a base hit. Jones had to hold up. So everybody advances just one base. Base is loaded now with nobody out. And the most dangerous man on the planet coming up. And one of the things Aaron Boone day tomorrow too. The biggest factor with that right hand. He's also six for 12 against Gosman. 500 <laughs> batting average with a home run. So every hitter knows the guys that you like facing. And this is a fastball that's off the plate away. Gosman gets the call. Yeah, way off the plate. 2-1. Soto swinging, flicks it down the left field line into the corner, and that ball is into the seats foul. Those 21 plate appearances. Stars back in the lineup last minute. Soto smashes that to right, hand looks fine. Soto on with a single. Go from not being in the lineup to a last second addition to laying out a BB <laughs> on an elevated fastball. Just all in the uh, last couple hours for Juan Soto. Looks like he was fine on that swing. Getting on top of a high heater. For first pitch. Had an 106 mile. The 1 0. Misses. It is eight split. And it's 3 0 on Soto. Pitching accordingly, trying to dibble at the corners and pitch. Ball four, he walked him. That'll play to run. Yankees lead four nothing. RBI walk from Juan Soto. And terrific. Big swing there. It's before first pitch. Soto out in front, two and two. Well, there's the first time we've seen a little shake of the right hand on that swing and miss. Good split and a fastball count. Awkward swing. The two two.
that one just misses. And the count is full on Soto and Gosman frustrated he didn't get the strike call. And we got both better. Soto waves just to tip it alive. Another 3 2. He is down. Ball four. Soto works yet another walk against Gosman. It's been a strike all day, is what 16, huh? Can you imagine that? Game? Come on. And when Willie Mays did that, that was before, you know, the cool. 3 0 on Soto. Not even off at it. And there's ball four. So a runner on for Judge. Now, the mastery shows on base percentage is 431. But there's a base hit. He picks up a single with one out. See, Michael, I love the way when you talk about it, you can jinx people as you usually do. You know, you talk about them and then they give up a hit. But you can also reverse the jinx. Yeah. He needs I've a hit. so much power. <laughs> I want Soto. He stays in on lefties. To be able to handle this pitch away from a lefty, you cannot give an inch with that front shoulder. And he never does. Maybe get back to where he was a little bit last year by working under the ball a little bit. 1 0 to Soto. Paul, make it make sense to me. How is it that this guy. It, it doesn't make much sense. I mean, he, and he's not like he, he snuck up on it, but he, I mean, he's been a star in, in the name of, you know, great team. So maybe that has something to do with it. But, uh, you know, Juan Soto. But it's certainly not. He's a starter because he's a Yankee. He's had a great year. It's just odd. And a walk. You look at Mookie Betts, Acuna, Bryce Harper. Yeah. I mean, those are names also that. Uh... Here's Soto up and away. Well, the sellout crowd is now officially into it. That one gets away. Volpe now moves to third. That forces the Reds to bring the infield in against Soto. Three and one. And the pitch. Strike two, three and two. Three, two. There's ball four. First and third. One man out. Here comes Judge. His Chambers. He becomes the 650th player in Yankees history to hit a home run. <laughs> Just keep things exciting. I want Ben Rice. When you watch his emotion, he uh, he just can't keep it in. You can tell how happy he is to be here. Here's a 3-1 to Soto. And he works a walk. That'll bring up Judge. One and oh. High five ball, deep center. Fairchild back. On the track, at the wall. See ya. A two run blast for Soto. And it's 8 4 Reds. First of the year, and uh, you know, we talked that if you can stay close, you know that this bullpen is kind of worn out on the red side. But their two premier guys probably not available, so it's a shame. You know they've dug a big hole, but you got to deal with it right now. Keep sh just battling away. Remember, he had the first one caught. Well, this one he knew off the bat where it was heading. A breaking ball. You see the reaction to that. So Soto against his former teammate from last year with the Padres hits a two run home run. Yankees still in it. It's eight four. MasterCard. That's July 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Cadillac scoreboard. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs>
do you know that when they had the voice <laughs> because you're screaming. The 2 2. Still two and two. Think after that pitch very much, but to, to be able to foul it off. That, now that one's a little. That, that one's tough right there. <laughs> the three two. And Soto works a walk. Catch up to it. Here's Soto. Drill down the right field line. It is a foul ball. The one. Drill to right field, it is a base hit. Rice goes back to second. Now he'll head to third. He did not know the ball was caught, but was caught, and he'll stop at third, first and third. By the end of the play, it really doesn't matter. It's Soto, Judge, and Verdugo against Crawford. And he starts him off by missing up at 90 for two tonight. And here he is. Behind bullpen. So swings at it on 3 0 and lifts it into right. It gets down in between Abreu and here he comes to second. A good throw would have had him, but it was off the mark. And Soto ends up on second with a double on a gamble. Running on Abreu, who's got one of the better arms. Tampa Bay. There's Juan Soto. And pitch from Pepio is outside. Orfer's last 22 in the last six games. And over a longer stretch, 11 for 59. So his average is dipped in. He'll be going to the All Star game along with Aaron Judge. And a changeup. Changeup's been getting hit. There's a strike. And he works a walk. For not. Soto shows the punt. Ball get the 1 0. 2 0. Cutter, cutter, curveball, sweeper, four seamer. You throw it all up. 85 batters. But he's 3 1 now on Soto. Brian Walsh is the home plate umpire. Edwin Moscoso at first. Dick Carp. Rip to right field. It's a base hit for Soto. Well, just what the doctor ordered for Juan Soto going through a little stretch lately, facing a guy in Eflin that he has fantastic numbers against the batting average, well over 400. It just got better with that swing. Swings in a pitch up and in again. There's a strike. One. Punched out and through for a base hit. Soto makes a big turn. Siri throws behind him and Soto on with a one out single. Well, a couple of base hits for once at the middle. Spread out with two strikes, put the ball in play. And it goes to the wall. Verdugo is rounding 30s held up there. And it's a double for Juan Soto. The Yankees have second and third and nobody out. Well, you mentioned a couple of hits for Soto last night, and we had been talking before last night's game how much more aggressive he has been on the first pitch, and he doesn't waste any time. Heater right down the middle in 96. He just shoots it the other way. The only question would Verdugo be able to score. Soto swings at the first pitch and drives one deep to left center. Going back, Siri, trap, wall, see ya, tie game. Oh, 
Juan Soto has been so much more aggressive on the first pitch of these at bats. Double in the first inning on a first pitch fastball. Now the 22nd home run of the year on a first pitch heater. We're all tied up at two. Here's Judge. Couldn't swing at that one. Missed inside. Reno. This year. There's ball four. So he's been on base all three times. First and second with one man out. That brings second. Rounded foul. The 0 1. One and one. Now one and two. You got a reliever throws hard coming right at Soto at 98. And a little acknowledgement, a little nod of the head. All right. And the one two. And the pitch. Rip foul. And the pitch. Work it to three two. Play. The pitch. And he walked him. What an at bat for Soto. And that will bring up Judge. Fairbanks made a good pitch, three and two, but it's a ball. It's off the plate. And you're right. What an at bat from Juan Soto. And you give Fairbanks credit. He was coming right at him with his best stuff. Here's Soto. Shows bunt. Takes up and in. Is 24 years old. This is his seventh big league start. <laughs> that one is lined to right field. Santon Bear stays with it, makes the play. Oh, they say he did not, that he trapped it. So Soto reaches on the single. It looks at Santon Dare. He took a couple steps back. That was a good call by the umpire crew and noticing how that ball bounced on the turf. He took a couple steps ball here in Baltimore. One pitch and the ball is past Westberg into right field. Here comes Trevino. Here's the throw. It's cut off and they have Soto hung up. Nobody's at first base and Soto gets back. An RBI single. A big run for the Yankees. They lead four to one. A well, big tack on run. This is a first pitch fastball and Perez does well against lefties under 200. You have Santander has really had a rough time out in right field. I don't know if this is a play at the plate, but a little surprised that they cut this off, especially with no. I want to take the time. The auction to benefit the Anthony Rizzo Family Foundation. That one is driven out to center field and deep. Cows are back. Track wall. See ya. A home run. Soto. And it is 5-1 Yanks. You know, the ball gets out in the summertime here at Camden Yards. It carries well when it's hot and humid. Get that run back. Twenty third homer, sixty six ribby. For donating one point two million dollars to the Anthony Rizzo Family Foundation that that's a home run for everybody and that's a home run for Soto right there. And that one is a rocket into right center field that's a base hit that's going to go to the wall. Soto rounds first he's going to go to second slows down and he'll take the one out double. Now Soto really seeing the ball well ever since that. Game in Tampa, the last game had a nice double and then that home run to left center field. He's really starting to swing the bat. Well, this is hammered, a slider up. 6 and 0, coming off his best one yet. Seven no hit innings against the Brewers last week. 
And his first one to Juan Soto draws the kind of swing that nobody draws against this generational hitter in Soto. It's kind of like a split finger sinker, right? That ball just at 94, by the way, drops out. That's the one pitch that has the ability to upgrade. That's the one he can get on the side of the slider. It's going to be a, a, a weapon for him, but I would think that if that upgrade continues as normal pitchers do, he is going to be unhittable. And he is part of a power couple, part of an LSU power couple that's becoming kind of a pop culture power oh. couple. His girlfriend is My LSU gymnast, social media star Libby Dunn. Swing and a miss, two and two. See right here, selfishly, I want to in this first inning. It's two and two on Soto. Skeen's looking for a one, two, three all star debut. It is straight up and out of play. It was the four seam fastball. But a good judge to the plate. That's outside. Oh. I know you want to see a four. You know what I want to see? What everybody wants to see? Soto's got to reach base. So we can get judged to the plate. He said, don't worry, I'll make sure he hits. And he won the lion. There's ball four. And he points to Judge and says, I got you, big fella. Here's the matchup that folks are dreaming of. Paul Skeens against Aaron Judge. Say that this spring he looked like a rookie trying to make the team, working at first. Juan Soto with a base hit into center field to get the AL on the board. Simeon is in. So is Crown, and it's a 3-2 game. Well, I don't know if there's a little confusion out in center field, but Juan Soto takes advantage of this ground ball up the middle and goes to second. It really should have just been a single. But watch him when he gets around first base and this really just a throw in give up kind of single that turned into a double. But Soto taking the extra base. The all-star game. Getting in a scoring position for Judge who takes a 